Swinburne University of Technology. My name's Chris Vale, I'm an Associate Professor in the Centre for Atom Optics and Ultrafast Spectroscopy. My name is Russell McLean, I'm a Professorial Fellow and I'm the Acting Director of the Centre for Atom Optics and Ultrafast Spectroscopy. We have approximately 20 uh, full-time research staff and a similar number of PhD students and they're working on research projects ranging from uh, studies of the fundamental properties of ultra-cold uh, matter to more applied areas like using ultra-fast lasers to study the dynamics of biological systems and to creating uh, sensors based on optical fibre technology uh, for applications such as medical sensing. Swinburne University uh, has been responsible for a number of firsts in our research area. Uh, for instance, in the, the research area in, in my lab, we're one of the first groups in the world to produce and study uh, ultra-cold gases of lithium atoms. And in fact, we're the first group in the Southern Hemisphere to produce such a, a system and be able to study some of its properties. These uh, systems that we create, these ultra-cold gases, are really at the frontier of modern scientific research and there's only a few labs around the world that can produce these. So at this stage we're still trying to understand the properties and learn some of the basic uh, mechanisms and, and basic reasons why superfluidity uh, can happen. But when we get beyond that, what we're looking to do is really understand how superfluidity can emerge and can appear in other more exotic systems and, and systems that may have useful, uh, may have uses from a technological point of view. At the applied end of the work, we interact with a number of Australian companies. With the support of Swinburne University, we've been able to uh, equip these labs extremely well. I think it would be fair to say these are probably the best equipped labs in the areas in which we specialise. So the research in, that happens in our research group really demonstrates that Swinburne has made a strong commitment to supporting both people and infrastructure that's allowed us to undertake research at the leading international level at the, in this field. This has been a Swinburne production.